everybody and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing an updated skincare collection i have attempted to gather all of my skincare products and put it into this amazon box um it's a lot and this is why i always like doing collection videos not necessarily routine videos <laughs> I can't do that again. Not necessarily routine videos because I do use different products um, for different things. And the last time I filmed this video was December of 2018. So there are things that have changed, obviously. Some things have stayed the same. And please keep in mind, you do not need all of these products. I have just found what works best for my skin. I am constantly changing products, constantly trying new things, just as the industry is growing and evolving, so is my skincare. But there are some things that are tried and true, things that I've spoken about in that video. And I just wanna make a disclaimer, the annoying disclaimer, that just because these products work for my skin doesn't necessarily mean they will work for yours and vice versa. And I know that's like self-explanatory because we're all so different, but my skin is acne prone. It's um, very uh, oily. It can be very oily. My skin just scars really easily and even with acne scars. Like I can get rid of a pimple pretty quickly, um, but it's the scarring and the pigmentation that will still kind of haunt me, so to speak. So these are all the products that I currently have in my rotation. It's embarrassing to admit, but I actually have a lot more products that are new or unopened that I haven't started yet. Um, but these are just the ones that I'm currently using. So everything in this box, I currently keep in rotation for like the millionth time. Yeah, if you want to see all the products that I currently use, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. If you are curious about this makeup look and this bronzy kind of look that I have going on, um, I will be posting a video, um, a tutorial, like a how-to as to how I get like this look. So stay tuned for that. But let's just dive into what you came for. So as I mentioned, I already mentioned my skin type. Number two, I use different things on a different cadence. So I alternate pretty much everything. I use a different moisturizer in the night versus day. I use a different cleanser day versus night. I only use masks during the night and I'm not talking about sheet masks here. Um, and I use two different eye creams day and night. So there's a lot going on in here as you will see. So when I wake up in the morning, I always wash my face. And if I don't have a daily face wash if I'm traveling, if I didn't bring like a morning face cleanser, and I only brought like a night face cleanser, I will most likely just rinse my face with water. But this is my favorite morning cleanser. I believe in my last video, I spoke about the Vanna Cream Cleanser, which is an amazing cleanser. It's very natural, very creamy, very um, pure and gentle, which is exactly the kind of cleanser that I will use in the morning. I don't need a deep cleansing gel in the morning I just need something to wake me up remove the impurities from the night and this is my favorite cleanser to do that this is the yes to cucumbers soothing cleanser this kind of reminds me of the fresh soy face cleanser but it's obviously more inexpensive and I believe the ingredients are more natural I absolutely love the scent of this it's not super duper harsh so if you're very sensitive to scents but you still want a nice pick-me-up this does a great job. It just gives you like that nice creamy consistency and just really just helps you get off that layer from your face overnight. This is awesome. It's my daily morning cleanser. In the morning, I do not go in with a toner. Um, the only thing that I will do to wake up my skin is go in with my tried and true Mario Badescu um, facial spray. I have tried all the varieties. This one is by far my favorite for the morning. This is the facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I buy the eight fluid ounce version. This is the biggest size because I go through these like it's going out of style um you can already see I'm like more than halfway done but I will just use this as a morning refresh after I wash my face pat it dry I will instantly go in with this all over and it just invigorates my skin and my senses even more because of that really nice aloe cucumber and green tea scent it's like the perfect way to start my day that rhymed. After I spray my face I will wait a little bit wait a minute or two for it to dry and then I will go in with this or this. This is a gua sha face thing. Um, it's jade and this face roller. I mainly go in with this face roller in the morning and I use the gua sha at night. But the gua sha is really good for just like stimulating your skin, helping reduce inflammation, lymphatic drainage, all that stuff. And if you want to see like a dedicated video to these, I can definitely do that for you. Just let me know. And then um, this is the guy I go in with every single morning. It's a jade roller. I use the fat side all over my cheeks just really just getting my blood flowing and just kind of reducing and eliminating that puffiness and that water retention i may have acquired overnight and i just bring this down to my neck and i do this for about a minute or so just to ensure that 
I get everything out that I can and it feels so nice. And then I'll turn it over and I'll use the small side on my brows because I get a lot of tension headaches. So this is really nice to just run over my brows in the morning just to eliminate that tension from overnight, as I mentioned, like a thousand times. This is awesome. I love it. It's such a necessary tool. You can get these like from Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive um, or you can get them from your favorite like skincare store. I'm sure they have them there because they're getting more and more popular. So I just store them in this little bag in here. And then after that, I obviously, from the looks of it, I do not have as intensive of a skincare routine in the morning as I do in the night. I personally have tried doing the whole meal deal skincare day and night. And I find that just doing it at night works best for me because it's not overwhelming my skin. So anyway, after that, I will always go in with an SPF and I will double this as my SPF and moisturizer because I'm oily. If you're dry, you might want to do a moisturizer followed by SPF. But I currently am using the Drunk Elephant um, Umbra Sheer um, SPF. I spoke about this in my February favorites and I really like this because it's a physical sunscreen. It's 20% zinc oxide. Physical sunscreens include things like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide and those are better for sensitive skin because they act as like a physical barrier instead of a chemical sunscreen which like actually penetrates your skin and like works as a sunscreen from inside out. I just like this. It's very smooth in consistency, very sheer and you get a lot for your money. Like it just blends in so smoothly and I will put this all over my face even working from home in this quarantine I still put this on every day because I always go outside I like to spend a little bit of time outside every day walking my dog I have to do that um, but also just like on my balcony I'm um, just sitting reading doing all that stuff and I believe that you should always use SPF it really helps delay the aging of your skin so I love this but if I am going to go in with foundation and I go in with an SPF foundation I will go in with this moisturizer and this is my favorite like daily anytime moisturizer not a thick night cream not an SPF just a good middle of the road moisturizer perfect for oily skin this and I've spoken about this before this is the formula 10.0.6 thirst no more moisturizer the consistency is so nice it's very thin and gel like not gel like per se but it just leaves the lightest scent it just is perfect for oily skin. Um, you just do one pump and I do this all over my face. The smell is very faint, but it's very pleasant. And I absolutely love this guy. It is under $10. You can travel with it. It's got hyaluronic acid, watermelon, lentil, apple extract, um, white tea. It is beautiful. It is so thin, perfect underneath your makeup, does not pill up or anything. And it's so nice. I cannot recommend this enough. It is my favorite, like, anytime moisturizer it's amazing and then after my moisturizer i will go in with this guy right here this is the actually i actually go in with this before this and my moisturizer so sorry we're widening this is the florence by mills look alive eye balm it looks like this i've also spoken about this it's just a really nice kind of like daily pick me up it's got caffeine and what i really like about it is the metal tip because it really just helps ensure that it pushes the product into your skin you don't need a lot but you just do a little bit and you just rub it underneath your eyes and it just feels so nice and cooling which is exactly what i need in the morning as well especially since we're entering the warmer months in las vegas so this is exactly the kind of product that i love okay so that's pretty much all i use during the day uh very simple now the rest of these are things that i go through and alternate with every night pretty much every time i take a shower we'll use a cleansing oil right now i'm going through the palmer skin therapy cleansing oil with vitamin e got grape seed jojoba rosehip oils and vitamin c this is a really nice and expensive um, cleanser and whenever I wear makeup I always double cleanse meaning I either go in with a wipe or an oil first I take this on my dry face rub it all over get my makeup off rinse it off and then I'll go in with a face wash just because I like to make sure that my skin is extra clean I find that face wash alone doesn't really do enough and no matter how good the face wash is I always just like the extra step and this is a great job for an inexpensive price point it does not break me out but it gets all of my makeup off really really nicely and I think I've spoken about this before too but this is the second time I've used this and it's an amazing inexpensive cleansing oil whenever I take baths which is pretty much like every other day like I'm gonna take one tonight I always use a face wipe and I actually just got more of these today this is the makeup remover wipes the Walmart pure and gentle brand these are legitimately 96 cents each under a dollar each for 30 wipes and 
I always talk about these face wipes because they're just that good. The ingredients are really nice. They're solid waters, glycerin, aloe, um, cucumber extract, licorice extract. They are amazing. They're alcohol free, dermatologist tested. I can literally remove my whole face just with one wipe. They're saturated, but not in an oily way. They're just wet enough where it gets all your makeup off. It doesn't leave a harsh odor. It doesn't leave your face feeling greasy. This is amazing. It's so good for under a dollar. Like you really can't beat it. The ingredients are good. It doesn't irritate my skin. Hats off to this. It's freaking amazing. And then after I take off my makeup, obviously, I go in with a cleanser, right? I have four cleansers that are currently in rotation. And you may be thinking, wow, is that a lot on your skin? Perhaps, but um, I will show you how I alternate through these cleansers because each of these has a different purpose. So this is the Biosan Squalane, Squalane? Yeah, Squalane and Tea Tree Cleanser. This is a great cleanser. It's more of that gel consistency, but it doesn't fill up super harshly. Like there really isn't that much of a lather with this guy, which at first I was like, oh, like this is weird. But then I got used to it because if you're dry, you may know that sometimes when you use uh, cleansers with really big surfactants is that even the right word or when you have a cleanser that lathers up a lot it may dry out your skin for someone who's oily that doesn't really concern me as much but this is really nice we'll usually take this on my clarisonic and i know this is not cruelty free but i just wanted to be honest and tell you what i use i got this before i was cruelty free i always use the acne brush head this is the mia one so it's a more inexpensive version the original version and i will just pour this on here use this usually when i'm washing my hair it's a very random process but you don't need to know about that because that's really just like my personal thing um i will always use these in conjunction pretty much except for the past week where i was working from home and i didn't really wear any makeup i would just take this on my hands and of course however you want to cleanse your skin is best but this is a really great combo because a clarisonic truly gets all of your makeup off like it is a tool that truly just helped my skin so much and it really does ensure that every last ounce is out from your pores i love it this is a tea tree cleanser it's important for me to not really use cleansers with like salicylic acid or any of those in it because i save those for my treatments because i like to spot treat with those i don't like to use it all over my face i like something like tea tree as like a natural alternative for um my acne prone skin so i love this a lot and then i've had this for forever it's kind of embarrassing but this is the soap and glory face um and clarity vitamin c facial wash this is more of an affordable cleanser and i love using this every other day i'll pretty much alternate between these two um i love using this because this is more of a cleanser that's geared towards brightening your skin and i believe i spoke about this in my last video as well but this is really nice it's soap free which is good it has these little beads in them but they don't really exfoliate it's just like a nice gel thick consistency and it does lather more than this but it does get all of your makeup off as well obviously after a double cleanse and it just feels really nice it has a nice like invigorating scent so whenever i want to brighten my face which is every other day this is more for acne this is more for brightening i love these two they are great for oily skin and then these are my other two cleansers that um, are a little bit newer to me. I got this one in a boxy charm. This is the Skin & Co. Whipped Cleansing Cream with Truffle Extract. And at first, I didn't really know what to think about this. This is more of like a true cream cleanser. These are gel cleansers and this is a cream cleanser. But I was like, oh, like this is actually a nice addition to my arsenal because I don't have anything like it and i will use this typically when i take my bath like i keep this at my sink this is always a cleanser i use like after a night out if i've already showered and i just need to wash my face again at the sink and this is really nice because it's more hydrating it doesn't lather as much as obviously a gel cleanser would but i find that after i go in with a wipe or take off my makeup this is really nice it just is very soothing and i got used to the scent and now i find this really pleasant so is it worth like all the money in the world yet because i believe this is over 30 dollars i don't really know it claims it's a makeup remover i don't think this does a great job at removing your makeup i will say even after i go in with a wipe and use this i will still find makeup residue on my face am i spitting when i go in and tone but i wouldn't recommend just using this on your own to like take off your makeup i think this is a good double cleanser i use it and it has not irritated me so this is really good as well okay and then the last cleanser i kind of keep in my arsenal i will go in with this once a week this is the Corez Wild Rose Exfoliating Cleanser. And I go in with this once a week because I don't like to exfoliate my face every day. And you may be thinking, oh, it's a scrub. You only use it once a week. You should use it more. I use chemical exfoliants on my skin. So I like to ensure that I use a physical one only once a week. You know, this one is really nice. Um, it smells like rose, which obviously is to be expected. Um, but you get a lot. You get five fluid ounces and 
this is really nice because you only need like a pea size amount and you just scrub your face and it's not super duper harsh so if you're looking for something that will still like physically resurface your skin but you don't want something that's super duper harsh check this out it's really nice it's more mild um but it still does a good job at like leaving my skin smooth and even okay and i briefly mentioned this tool the clarisonic but i also want to mention this scrubby pad because if we're going to talk about skincare i want to talk about how i apply my skincare right so this is just a scrubby pad i honestly don't don't know where I got this from but you can get them on Amazon you can get them at a drugstore I believe I got it in a two-pack with a blue one but you can see it has these little like rubber rubble rubber bristles and I will mostly use this with this guy it's so random but this is typically the cleanser that I will use this with I'll just squeeze it onto here and really just scrub my face and it's not abrasive at all the silicone is soft um and it's really just nice to just take off your makeup if you want to use something a little bit more than your hands but you don't want to go in with like an electric tool this is really good and um, it's really inexpensive I wanted to quickly mention this this is the Shea Moisture Green Coconut and Activated Charcoal Purifying and Hydrating in Shower Mask I only use this about once a week and the problem with this is that the packaging is very like if I open it it'll just shoot out so be careful um, but it has green coconut activated charcoal and white tea and this is supposed to work with like the steam of your shower to just open your pores and I just let this sit on my face so I like this it does tingle a little bit but to me that's a good thing because it's a sign that the ingredients are working or activating comfort skin with moisture for silky soft nourished skin in five minutes it's free of parabens phthalates sulfates mineral oil all this stuff and again i will use this as like my charcoal mask because i don't have like an out of shower charcoal mask i will use this in my shower once a week i'll wash my face put this on wash my hair wash my body do all that stuff and then i'll rinse this off and i will say that i do notice a difference not a super drastic difference but my skin does feel a little bit more cleansed like more purged if that makes more sense okay and then it's time to go to my toners i alternate through two toners currently this one is the ordinary glycolic acid seven percent toner um this is a really good toner it's really inexpensive it's about nine dollars you can get it on sephora or ulta the ordinary makes really good products some of them are hit or miss in my opinion but this one is nice um because glycolic acid is one of those chemical exfoliants that i was mentioning earlier um that really just helps resurface your skin from within and i think this is really Really important because this just really helps my skin just turn over and become more fresh and as someone who's oily um, it really just helps keep my pores unclogged obviously I'm prone to breakouts especially hormonal breakouts but this is a really good job of kind of preventing that but also healing them so after my breakouts have passed and I have acne marks or whatever it may be pigmentation this just does a good job helping to lighten the situation so this is good I use it every other day and then on the days where I don't use that I will go in with the Innisfree balancing toner now as you can tell in my collection, I pretty much like to have a balance of everything. I don't like to keep things too much in one category because I believe that your skin is should be balanced and you should have balanced products to help with that. That's just my personal opinion and my experience. That's what's worked for me. But this is the Innisfree Balancing Toner with Green Tea. This is like a very interesting toner. It's very milky. Um, you just take it off and I think they can improve the packaging because you can see the holes like pretty small I just take a cotton ball and I'll just shove this in and I use like five drops of this because this is very milky and you don't go through a lot at a time you can use this if you have dry skin this is just an overall nice balancing toner it's not going to really do much of anything in particular it just helps your skin kind of come back to where it should be without doing anything too harsh, which is what I really love. I love the scent, it's very faint, and I love the ingredients as well. Um, it's a quick absorbing toner with Jeju, I don't really know how to say that word, green tea extract to help maintain skin's delicate balance for hydrated, healthy looking skin. So if you're someone with dry skin, you might really like this as well because it's not stripping at all. It just leaves your skin very hydrated, very plump, very nourished. Oh, actually, masks come before I tone. Sorry, let me just rewind here. Literally one for every day of the week. Almost, I have six masks here that I currently go through rotation because I got rid of all my old ones slash ones that I don't use. Now, I literally write down in my planner um, what mask to use when. And I typically like to alternate. First of all, I use a mask every other day. So I don't use one every single day. I think that's a little bit too much for my skin at least. So I will alternate like, a pore unclogging mask with a calming mask with a pore unclogging mask with a calming mask. So I will go by category. 
Um, I typically consider these three to be like my calming masks, like my masks that are not necessarily meant for, um, you know, unclogging your pores, but rather masks that um, are used for hydration and overall texture and calming. So let's just start with this guy. This is the heart pharmacy am i am i okay the pharmacy honey potion renewing antioxidant mask this one is really cool i've actually put on a couple people to this mask i love this this is one of those warming masks it literally has a nice little spatula you undo it it's so fancy you dip the spatula on you do a little bit on each part of your face and then you rub it in and it literally is so warming and so nice and it turns into like a nice creamy feeling you leave it on and then you wash it off it warms a little bit and it tingles but the honey in this mask not only nourishes your skin but i think it also does a good job of helping balance my skin as well i personally love the experience of this because no other mask in my collection gives me the sensation that this does so i really like it for that reason the elemis superfood vital veggie mask i got this in a boxy charm and this is a really nice mask it smells like a spa oh my god i just booked my nose but it also does have um vitamin c and passion fruit acids that um brighten your skin as well so this does kind of like a hybrid between a calming one and then one that actually does help like unclog your skin it has avocado broccoli seed oils vitamin c passion fruit and this is one that i really feel like once i have it on it feels like i don't know how to explain it it feels thick but in a good way it feels like it's really like intensively like wrapping my skin in moisture and it stays feeling that way so i really like this i see results from this as well one of my favorite masks of all time that i've spoken about is the first aid beauty ultra repair instant oatmeal mask i have recommended this to a lot of people as well first aid beauty in general amazing skincare um i'll talk about their moisturizer in a minute my favorite moisturizer of all time this one is really nice this is just something that i do it says 10 minutes but i always leave it on for longer it comes out like a little oatmeal meal kind of consistency it smells very mild safe for sensitive skin and whenever my skin just feels very inflamed it's very red kind of chapped from the wind or um i have a lot of breakouts that are really painful i will always go in with this mask and it just helps calm everything down and it just brings down like the stress levels of my skin as weird as that may sound and i will leave this on and then after i take it off my skin just looks and feels like a million bucks it's amazing now my three more like intensive masks i would say are these three let's start with this guy this is the ole henriksen fat glow facial this is a mask that truly is very unique it's also kind of like the pharmacy one in the sense where once you put it on your skin and you rub it in it kind of transforms color and consistency but this is really nice it's infused with um, phas and nordic birch soap and this will just help unclog your skin and make it smoother and more even from inside out obviously does help the tone of my skin so i really like this i've only been using this for a few months now but i do see a difference the wander beauty lift off purifying and brightening peel off mask i also got this mask in a boxy charm it's a rose gold pe pearl peel off mask i will say the problem with peel off masks is that even though some of it does peel off naturally you're never going to get that full layer that you can just take off your skin at least for me because it's very hard to peel off sometimes so i ended up just having to wash it off which may not be the purpose but but it has um cowlin clay which is a clay that, that helps take out all the gunk from your pores and this does really help your skin um it's really really nice whenever i peel off my mask from the parts that actually do peel off i look and i see the little like blackheads and the impurities so this is really nice i only use this maybe like once a week to once every two weeks and then probably my favorite mask at the moment this is the innisfree pore clearing clay mask with super volcanic clusters it's a wash off mask this literally touts itself as a pore clearing mask i just get my little brush and i will dip it into here and just paint it all over my face i love how smooth and even this face mask applies it's to cool on contact absorb excess oil with visibly smaller pores all while helping to improve the overall look and texture of skin and i do agree when i wash this off my skin feels like it's new um it's not one of those super harsh clay masks that really just like dry out your skin and just leave it like cracked and crumbly like it dries like paper mache on your face but not super intensely it's not one where you're uncomfortable at all i really like this guy and it's a great price point as well okay so now that i've talked your ear off about masks let's go in with the rest of my stuff oh my gosh we still have quite a few things so typically if i am going in on a regular basis i will go in with a serum 
and then a moisturizer. So I kind of use these in different ways. It's very interesting. I will usually use all of these in conjunction with each other. More often than not, the majority of the week, I am using the Kate Somerville Anti-Back Clearing Lotion. I've spoken about this before. This is my second bottle of this. I keep repurchasing it because it really does make a difference on my skin. I will just pump one pump of this all over my problem hormonal areas, one pump of this wherever else I may need it, let that sink in, and then I will go in with my moisturizer. The Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty is my go-to nightly moisturizer, even now when it's getting warmer. It is so nice. It's so just beautiful and silky, and it just blends right into your skin. It smells like nothing. I mean, it has like a nice kind of oatmeal-y scent. The active ingredient is actually oatmeal, and you can actually use this all over your body too, which is why the jar is so big. I've had this for a long time, and I'm barely halfway through it, so you get a lot for what you pay for. I have put so many people onto this cream, oily skin, dry skin, mature skin. They all love this. This is truly a cream that works for everybody. I know you may think it's like a thick cream, but it actually does help my skin, and it really just makes my skin feel so soft. Like, even hours after I apply this, I touch my skin and I'm like, oh my god, like it still feels like I just put moisturizer on. It feels so nice without feeling greasy. It just sinks right into your skin. This is amazing and it does not irritate my skin at all. The other nighttime cream I use, which I haven't used in a while, I have to admit, is the CEO cream by Sunday Riley. This is really nice too. This is a brightening cream. It's more of a thicker, rich consistency but it smells like oranges and it's really nice. I would typically only use this in winter though because this doesn't sink into your skin as much as this. They both leave your skin feeling very soft and very like plump and nourished after. Like I still feel this cream on my face too, but not in a bad way. I just, when it gets to the summertime and I sweat a little bit more, I feel like I would sweat this off whereas this sinks into my skin a little bit better. So once a week, I will go in with this guy right here. This is the Fourth Ray Beauty Reveal 10% Alpha Hydroxy Acid Serum, which is an AHA serum, which is a chemical exfoliant. And I will go in with this on a day where I don't go in with this toner because this is already a lot as is. Um, I will go in with this after I go in with my Innisfree toner once a week. AHA is a chemical exfoliant, as I mentioned, that just helps to unclog your pores, um, makes your skin more susceptible to damage by the sun, so I only use it at night. And you guys know that I love the Pharmacy AHA Honeymoon Glow Serum. That's probably my favorite AHA serum, but I'm getting more into 4th Ray Beauty and I really like the products I've tried out from that brand so far. So I wanted to venture into this because it is more affordable and I really do like this. I only honestly have to use one drop of this. It comes out like this. It's like a little jelly consistency. I only have to use one drop all over my face and I concentrate this on like my areas where it's like more um, dark, where my dark spots are. And I do find that it does help brighten my skin. And the thing with this product too, is that if I have like a small pimple, cause this helps with texture. If I have a small pimple and I put this on my pimple, that's like a whitehead, it will make it come alive and it will make it become a pimple, like a full on pimple, but it does help speed up the healing process right away. So it brings it to the surface, you take care of it, and then it goes away, which I really like about this serum because this is one that I know will just bring out the impurities from within and it helps bring out my texture and then I can solve it and it goes away. This is really good, but I wouldn't use this before like a big event or anything because of that reason. Um, but just on the regular once a week, this is a really nice resurfacing treatment. I also will use this once a week. This is the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Brightening Serum. This is more of a brightening serum. This is more for your texture, but it also brightens. This is more just to brighten. So I would say this is for uneven skin tone. This is for uneven skin period, but I like to use them both. I also use this once a week and the dropper on this isn't as generous as a fourth rate one. Like I have to find myself like constantly dunk into here to get product out. And even then, like I have to use two or three drops to get my entire face. It smells like pineapples. It smells really nice, but I love that this does help like brighten my skin overall. I don't think the results are as drastic as like a super potent one, but this does have vitamin C, which is known to brighten your skin tone overall. And it does do a really good job. After I go in with these two serums, depending on the day of the week, obviously, I will always follow that up by using this guy. This is also technically a serum, but it's more of like a hydrating serum. So I will use this as my moisturizer after a serum instead of going in with my Ultra Repair Cream. This is the Kypris Antioxidant Dew Quench and Glow Serum. I got this in a BoxyCharm, which thank God, because when I looked up this price online, I was shook. This is $90 and you can only get it on Nordstrom, which is crazy. Um, but this is really nice. The, 
stopper is kind of weird because it's kind of goopy once you like turn it back down but i mean that really doesn't matter i honestly you can see how much is like packed in it i only need like one or two drops and I will just put this all over my face after I go in with my serums. And there are some bougie ingredients in here that frankly, I don't really remember off the top of my head, but it does leave like a nice smooth thing. And keep in mind, since it is like a hydrating serum, it's not gonna leave like that lasting hydrating effect on your skin like these moisturizers. This is more something that will sink into your skin and just stay like that without leaving a residue. Although I will say it can be pretty tacky after you finish it. So if you have dry skin, try using it as a primer. Let me know how that goes because the tackiness could be really good for underneath your makeup. Okay, and then I want to talk about some miscellaneous knickknacks that I also keep in my collection. Once a week, I will use this as well. This is always like my go-to combo. So I exfoliate my face, and then once a week, I will go in with my 4th Ray Beauty After Hours Detox Facial Oil. This has salicylic acid and charcoal to just help bring out your impurities. And I will always mix this with like a carrier oil. You can use this on your own, but I like to mix these. This is the Trader Joe's 100% organic argan oil this is a very versatile oil you can use on your hair your skin your nails i like to use these in combination with each other i'll do one drop of this and then two to three drops of this mix it around on my palms and just press it into my skin and in the morning i wake up and my skin just looks so soft more clear more even more toned and i love using this in conjunction with this because i feel like these two products really complement each other with their effects on my skin. Throughout the day, I will go in with this guy right here. This is the 4th Ray Beauty Mellow Milk Mist. I cannot live without this. It has chamomile. It just feels so nice on your face. Just refresh, like even with makeup, like it just makes my skin look glowy, but also feel calm and cool. Like the soothing properties in this product are seriously not a gimmick. It's freaking amazing. I guess I should mention this because I use this in conjunction with this. I also spoke about this in my February favorites. This is the Mario Badescu Special Healing Powder. On days where I'm not wearing any makeup, but I'm going out on the town, I will put this on in the morning, like dab this all over my face, and then I will go in with this and it just sets it down. Um, but this is great because it has sulfur, it helps your oily troubled skin, decongest pores and balance oil. So this is awesome as like a nice little everyday knickknack. And then I wanna talk about this product really quickly. This is the final product in my skincare collection. This is the Neutrogena Rapid Repair Wrinkle Eye cream i don't want to really talk about this that much because i it's not cruelty free but eye creams take forever to go through so i have had this for so long and i'm barely like not even done with it but this is my nighttime eye cream it has retinol in it so it's supposed to help with your crow's feet and your wrinkles which is what i struggle with okay and that is it for my face <laughs> this is literally like my face skincare collection if you want to see everything else i use like maybe my lips which I didn't really mention in this video, but my lips, I still use my Laneige Sleeping Balm. I use my Hemp's um, lip balm. I use my Catrice lip oil. If you wanna see like all my body products, let me know. I can make that a separate video because this one is already way too long. But let me know in the comments below your thoughts on any of these products I've mentioned. What are your favorite skincare products? I am dying to know. I was actually just at Walmart the other day um, and I noticed that they had all of these amazing, affordable, new, clean, natural products, which is right up my alley. I love Love clean affordable makeup that's like underrated and not only makeup but skincare so yeah let me know in the comments down below what you love thank you so much for watching this video i know it was a long one um and yeah hope you're staying safe out there and i will see you in my next one bye